Hi, my name is Melissa Palomo, and I'd like to welcome you to our 10th Global Car Bridge Challenge here at GCC. Come on in. The Global Cardboard Challenge was inspired by the short film Kane's Arcade, which tells the story of a young boy named Kane Monroy who created an elaborate cardboard arcade in his father's used auto parts store. The challenge was started by the Imagination Foundation, a nonprofit organization dedicated to fostering creativity and innovation in children. This year marks the 10th anniversary of Guam Community College hosting the event in Guam. Usually this event is meant for um, our students, our GCC students and also our GW high school students who are in the early childhood program. They're usually making things for children to play with. This year, since it was our 10th year, we decided to try and get some of the um, college students to make projects that will be on display so it can showcase their skill level. We have also um, sign language, American Sign Language um, class, I mean, activities for uh, students. Um, so again, we're bringing in um, that program in our department, as well as some work from students uh, in the elementary side. So you'll see some areas here where children can do some pretend play, like here we have restaurants. And then we have other teachers who are focusing on um, games, okay? Or if you see here, this side is more a uh, big muscle movement. So you see these big play spaces here. So we started 10 years ago, 10 years ago with this idea of having children play and use their imagination, but also build things out of cardboard. There's so much cardboard here on Guam. In fact, we have so much excess that we have to figure out if we're gonna just bring it back to the recycling bin or if we're gonna try and give it out to people who wanna make projects after this event. We definitely want parents to come here, see the projects and realize that they don't need much material to make an activity, a project, a toy that their child can play with. So from the get go, we wanted to inspire our visitors to say, hey, let's practice recycling by either making these toys or these um, activities out of cardboard and continuing to use them. Um, it doesn't have a lot of cost um, and it really just takes imagination. And if you don't know what to do as a parent, guess what? You can give your child a box and they can figure it out themselves. From all the times I've been to this event, I would say the ones that really stick out to me are the ones that children make themselves. The, the craftsmanship, the imagination, even just the thought process of why did you put this here and that there, way different than our students and adults. So I encourage everyone to look at this event um, as, a, as an inspiration or as a starting point to say, hey, all the cardboard that we collect from the store or from you know moving, that let's save it and just give children some time to play with it at least for you know a day or two before you get rid of it. And secondly, I want parents and visitors to come here and say that, you know what, every year GCC is gonna have an event like this. What's next? What's new? Um, we hope to expand and keep making uh, more of our college students showcase the skills that they're learning to get into the career that they are pursuing. And really that's where careers start, is the very young doing pretend play with just you know the toys they have and acting out scenes from what they think that job is gonna entail. And we are the back end. We're, we're the place where you can come and pick up that trade or that career. And so, you know, 10 years, I'm like, man, we've been doing this for so long. But at the end of the day, just seeing children play and their eyes light up because everything is touchable and it's free and they can stay as long as they can. And, you know, and, and again, use their imagination. We're really just giving them the materials. For more Buenas features, follow us on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram.